Hello everybody, it is me, Vincent, and I am coming to you here from SeaWorld Orlando for their very first night of the very first year of Hollow Scream here in Orlando, and I am super, super excited. I am a really, really big fan of Hollow Scream over in Busch Gardens, but I don't like the drive, so I am very, very happy when SeaWorld announced that they were gonna be doing their own version of Hollow Scream here in Orlando. For this video, I plan to see all of the haunted houses, check out their scare zones, their specialty bars, enjoy the very, very first night of this brand new event here in Orlando and see if it holds up or if it's a good alternative to the very, very popular Halloween event across the street. I'm actually here in the park in sort of their sort of stay and scream area. If you are a SeaWorld annual pass holder or you have a SeaWorld ticket for the day already, there is a part of the park that they will let you wait for the event to start. I would go ahead and say my first tip right off the bat is if you have a SeaWorld ticket or a SeaWorld annual pass, get here early and just like park in the regular SeaWorld parking that you get for free with your annual pass. Otherwise, you're gonna have to pay for parking for Hallow Scream, which is no bueno. So try to get here before the event starts, park in regular SeaWorld, and then wait in this area that I'm in right now. They're only using half of the park for the event. There are gonna be four haunted houses, four scare zones, four specialty bars, all spread out between one half of the park over here, the side where they have like Icebreaker and Wild Arctic and Sesame Street. That's where SeaWorld's Hallow Scream is gonna be. You're getting two rides open as well. Mako and Infinity Falls are the two rides that are currently advertised as being open during the event. And today, I'm not really gonna focus on the rides while we're here, but if you wanted to ride Mako at night, that would not be a bad idea to do. You get this flyer when you come in through the parking area. Bags larger than eight by five are not permitted, so just be mindful of that if you're trying to come to the event. And you get some sort of uh, information on the shows that are happening, Monster Stop and Siren Song, one at the Nautilus Theater and one at Wild Arctic, which are both right down that way. These are the Ryan's in the dark, and then of course, a warning, no bags, and this is a mature audience event. We are waiting here in this area, and then we have access to all of this. So all the red stuff here, these are gonna be scare zones. Let's see, where are the haunted houses? Uh, haunted houses, one, two, three, four. There's one haunted house over here, one haunted house over here, one over here, one over here. So I guess we'll probably do four and three first, and then kind of make our way over here. If you're staying in the park at SeaWorld, you'll start over here, you'll be closer to these, or if you're just coming in normally, you'll be coming through here and starting by like Icebreaker and Wild Arctic. So the prepare for the scare area leads all the way up to Manko over here. And this is the cutoff, which a little further down, right down by Infinity Falls, that's where you're gonna find two haunted houses. They are not gonna let people through until 7 p.m. is what I was told. Hello, how's it going? Hey, how you doing? Pretty good. Hey, let me ask you a question. Do we show up on that thing? Yeah. Can you, you see us? You really wanna see it? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. There we are. Pretty impressive yeah. stuff. I look really good. You guys look wow. great. I don't think you look good. Yeah. I do look really good. I, I, really, I, I don't feel so good, but I... I is this for like a I YouTube channel? It is, it is. Look at that. Oh, oh, so, wow. so what's kind of interesting for this event is if you don't want to be scared, you can pay $15 and get one of these no boo necklaces. It lights up, and then I guess the performers know not to go after you, but it does not guarantee a scare-free evening and I don't think it works in the haunted houses. <laughs> Hanging out inside the Mako gift shop because, well, it's raining. I brought my raincoat this time, so I'm not gonna get soaked as bad as I did at Horror Nights a couple days ago. I'm drinking a little beer, and I'm actually gonna be hanging out with my friend Danny here. Hello. This is your first Halloween event. It's my first Halloween event. Oh my gosh. This I am is... <laughs> so scared. <laughs> That's okay. We're going to be hanging out. We're going to do some haunted houses okay, together. Okay. I got your back. All right. You're okay. going to have to go first in every single haunt we go into. Well, I'll, I'll do the first two and then I think you'll be ready. All you right. can do that too. We'll half see, and half. Does that work? I'm going to buy one of those necklaces. Though. No, no, no. Don't buy no <laughs> necklaces. No, no anti scare necklaces. All right. All right. We're going in. <laughs> Okay, how scream, let's do this. We're doing it. Are you ready to get scared? I'm ready. Oh, ready. we're passing through one of the scare zones now. This is Witchcraft Bayou. Oh, oh they're going strong. All right, good talk. So this is the first haunted house you'll see if you're doing the prepare to scare area. This is 
dead vines, but we are gonna do a big brain move and head a little further down. There's actually one more haunted house down over here called Captain's Revenge, and it doesn't seem like there's anybody there right now, so we are just gonna get in line, and I think we're gonna be the first oh ones into the haunted house. No, they're gonna scare us. Oh man, <laughs> let's do this. Into Captain's Revenge we go. Let's see what they got. Let's see what they got here at Hallow Scream SeaWorld. First haunted house of the night, the Captain's Revenge. Let's see what they got going on here. Hello? Stay away from my oh, Which way do we go? I guess we go here. Oh, this way. It's really dark in here. That was good. Halt! How exciting. Our first guest. Let me hear the hoorah! like a little seaweed forest over here. It's very creepy, very dark in here. Oh, we found the treasure, sorry. I didn't see it, very dark in here. Whoa. No, oh. no, no. Is this my, I'm not, I want some treasure. I need some treasure, please. No, no, no. Oh, no. Oh my gosh, this is the dark shiny house I've ever been in. No, no, no. That's my goal. No. This is oh. my goal. It's mine. The oh, she's the <laughs> <laughs> They got me at the end, David. Captain's Revenge. Okay, first of all, it was very, very cool. It was a lot like a Hallow Scream haunted house in Bush Gardens. It was so freaking dark. Yeah. It was so dark, they but we had a good time. So many times. Yeah. <laughs> I, we walked right in. It doesn't seem like it's super, super busy, so hopefully we can do it again later yeah. in the night, but that was pretty, pretty awesome. Dead Vines is behind us. This is the one right next to Captain's Revenge. It's currently closed right now, so I guess we're going to head towards like the front of like the actual entrance yeah. event and see what they got going on over there. We're going to pass through another scare zone, Deadly Ambush. I think this one's themed to like wilderness parks and things like that. Cause I got some scary park rangers over here. Hopefully no yetis. I, I really don't like yetis. I don't want to deal with that kind of stuff right now. You should have left hours ago. We're just trying to we're just trying to pass through real quick. We're not trying to bother. Roger, there's only two of us now. Oh no. You need to go. We're leaving, we're leaving. Oh no. Gosh, werewolves. Gotta love them. I like this RV here. This Parked RV and these poor girls are having a real I'm bad. Faster, go! We're trying. We're we're going. And... Get out of here, please! My girl Johnny. No. Do you like no. it? Do you like the werewolves? No. Oh. Don't freak out. But there's some monster people coming. Monster people. They're just. Oh, look at these guys. Oh. Actually, very impressed. Oh, this is so cool. <laughs> okay, there's too many of you guys. This, you gotta step back over here. It's too scary. We're gonna head to the next house, which is the one I was most excited for, Beneath the Ice. They advertise this as being inside of the Wild Arctic Queue. So I'm excited to see how this goes. We picked up Jay along the way. He's gonna Hello. be joining us for Beneath this the Ice. Vision. Let's do this thing, man. Oh man, let's do it. I love this channel. <laughs> it's too quiet in here. Oh, oh man, that got me good. Oh no. I should have brought like sunglasses or something. So dark. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my gosh, wild arting. Oh, this is getting. Holy crap. Look at this guy. Oh, he's gone now. Oh no. Oh, get away. Get away. Oh, he's crazy. Oh no. Uh, Alright, that was pretty cool. <laughs> These houses are really dark. My eyes were like not adjusted or something. Because there was a lot of really, really dark moments in there. But I gotta give them credit. The sets that I did see, it was pretty impressive. And I love, I love, I love haunted houses like retrofitted into old buildings or old queues for rides like this one is. That was pretty cool. That was really, really fun. I'm excited to try the other ones. Bumped into some friends who were able to give me drink coupons for the bars. Thank you, my good old media friends. Now I get to try out the fun drinks here. Tormented. I'm not gonna have too many. I don't wanna get ahead of myself. But look at these. Uh, very, very conventionally attractive Viking ladies as our bartenders. How fun. I love the costumes and the makeup this year. They've honestly been super, super cool. And oh my gosh, it comes with fangs. I got little fangs. Gosh, I haven't had 
vampire fangs in forever. I was like a kid. This is pretty good. <laughs> Toast, we all got the specialty right, drinks here. Toast. This is the Tormented Terror drink. This is really, really good. I like this one here. This is spiced rum, blood orange, passion fruit, orange. This is really, really good. Getting ready for the siren song show. There's quite a crowd here for the first first showing. I think the sirens are you already are here. Food. Oh no. You never know who you're gonna bump into waiting for the first siren song. It's Jackie! Happy Halloween! Happy Halloween! Happy Halloween! Happy Fright, baby! Oh yeah, you have fun so far? Oh my god! <laughs> From every corner of this sea world, we have come to reclaim that which is ours. Let us fill the night with your howls and screams! Song. That was a pretty cool show. That was really, really cool. But now we're going to head over to the next haunted house, which is down this way over here. I believe it's called Water's Edge. Water's Edge Inn. That's my shadow over there. Hello, everybody. It's going to be Adder's Inn. That's my shadow. Here we go. Oh, this one's got some really cool sets. Oh, no. There's stuff in face. They've got stuff hanging in here. Oh, oh my gosh, too low, too low. That's a that's a hazard right there. Oh, that's creepy. Hi. Hello. Oh, you can't get away, Daddy. Oh, well, I think I can. I'm getting out of here. Oh. Dead body. Oh, look at this fun little. Ah! Oh no. Oh, that was good. Help us, please. Ah! Whoa. I'm going out this way. <laughs> That was my favorite so far. That water's that gin. That was pretty cool. The sets were really cool. It had the jumpy lady at the end, chainsaw. That was a good time. Now we're actually at the front of the event. We started in the back. Now we're at the front. Let's gotta wait for Danny and Jay to come out. <laughs> hey! Oh, the heck? That was so we came, we saw, we kicked. We did. That yeah. was cool. That was my favorite so far. That was, that was the worst hotel ever. Yeah, that ever. was good. That was good. good. What is a Halloween event without the ladies provocatively dancing in cages? <laughs> no, thank you. Bloggers in the dark vlogging. That is the silhouette of Paging Mr. Morrow, Nate, well, over here. <laughs> Dead vines. Okay, one more. Down this way uh, over show, here. I believe. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> oh. Okay, all right, I'm leaving. Oh, gosh. Just what you thought he was saying. Escape my life. I think out of the four haunted houses, 
here at the event, Dead Vines and Water's Edge Inn, those are gonna be the ones to definitely do. Those are really, really cool. And maybe we'll try to do the other two a little bit later in the night if I get the chance, but the crowds have arrived and these haunted houses are getting some pretty lengthy queues. So I would advise you to try and get their front of the line pass that they sell here for the event because it is pretty darn busy. And these haunted houses are really cool and fun, but I don't know if they're exactly one to two hour waits worthy. Tickets to enter the event aren't super expensive compared to like other Halloween events. So adding on the front of the line pass, even if it's just the one time use one, I think will help your night go by a little bit more easier, a little bit more relaxed. So you don't really find out how long the haunted houses are until you actually get in line. There's not like a like a wait time board or anything like that. We're gonna head into the Monster Stomp show over here. We're doing the 10.30 show. It's about 10 o'clock now. Go grab a seat and get ready. We're doing pretty, pretty awesome for time. And the, the red is rum, right? No, that's vodka. Vodka. Oh, that's, that's the one I've been drinking. Over here. I think I'll go for the rum. I like rum. Yeah. I think I'll do that. Thank you so much. Ooh, happy Hallow Scream. This show is called Monster Stop and it features Jack the Ripper, as you can see by these news articles on the door. like the show. I do have one note. It's called Monster Stomp. I was expecting full Stomp the Yard style show. A lot of dunk, 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 dunk. But points for the Evanescence wake me up. That was a fun show. Very well done. This is one of the food booths near the show we just saw over here. I will make a comment that food is, seems to be a little few and far between. There are some places yeah. to get food and get scared while you're waiting for food but there's really not that much like exclusive hollow scream style food so if you're looking for that kind of stuff just be ready for that mako is sitting pretty at a five minute wait tonight so if you're looking to do mako this right now is the only ride open for the event here's the last scare zone we've yet to see the sea of souls a swash buckling pirate scare zone oh my she really scared that person just a moment ago very foggy in here oh look out Oh my freaking god. You know, you look like someone. Look like who? You look it's a very famous well known pirate. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Somewhere around here, so I Whoa! Tell me about Captain Hook. Sure, sure, we'll take that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this area is in the back of the event. Like this is a dead end right over here. This is where we started. This is actually like the best area so far. Really cool sets, some really cool performers. This one's like, I think the most well done and the one you can see the most. So I, I would say this is probably my favorite one out of the four. This is the bar in this area, the Longshoreman Tavern. This is normally the Sharks Bar, which is like a really popular annual pass holder spot, but it is now the Longshoreman Bar. We're gonna go inside. I don't really know if I need a drink or anything like that. I think I'm good for the night, but we'll pop in here, see what's going on. Oh, so, yo, 
have them jumping over hurdles, but I gotta go and talk about these turtle ducks. And I'm off the brain, yeah. I'm off the rocker, and I'm down to kick it like this one with soccer. Um, and oh, yo, I put these rhymes up in your face. Guaranteed by the end, I'm getting down to third base. Oh, yo, I've been doing this since I was a foot tall. And you know, I'm rhyming that with football. And oh, whoa, well, you can't keep up with the pace. If I go ahead and get these ones, I'll make them go and race. Um, yeah, as I skate, $3 for pecan, 5 for apple, that's a pirate. Oh, uh, and I think I can rap about this one here because this is looking big. And yo, it don't even really matter. It's about the turtle ducks. I just spit that chitter chatter. Yo, oh! <laughs> Four haunted houses, see all the scare zones, pop into all the bars, saw all the shows. This is a really solid first year inaugural fear. I've been calling it inaugural fright this whole time because I was like thinking of flight for some reason. But it's the first fear of Hallow Scream here at SeaWorld Orlando. And honestly, I'm excited to see this event grow. If this is going to be anything like the Hallow Scream in Tampa, is you're going to see a lot of these haunted houses again. So next year, you're going to be able to go through the Dead Vines. Next year, you might be able to go through the Water's Edge Inn. And they'll only add on more and more haunted houses over the year. And I think that's what needs to happen. There needs to be a little bit more. But I think for a first year, this is not a bad setup. I am curious to see how this event goes. Maybe I'll come back to it in October. In October, I'm expecting it to be pretty darn busy. Fridays and Saturdays, I'm expecting this to be really, really busy. I would say if you are going to try and do this, try to do one of the off days. I think it's Sundays and Thursdays. And those are also the lower price tickets as well. These tickets in general are just a lot more affordable compared to other Halloween events in the area. And if you can get a cheap ticket and then enough to like get a front of the line pass and then that'll end up being like the same cost to just get into one of the other Halloween events here. I think, you know, I think you can have a pretty decent night. Like all the mixed drinks that we had were really, really cool. They were really great. The shows are fun. All the actors are really fun. Like there is a really special charm to like the Howl Scream events. And I'm talking about Tampa as well, where a lot of these actors, they can speak and they come up to you and say fun things and have these fun little recurring storylines like in the haunted houses. It's that way as well. So like this is a really, really solid time and getting like submerged in the fog here. And now I'm like worried someone's gonna like try to jump at me. This would be like really seriously like the worst time. Anyway, <laughs> this was a really, really great event and I'm gonna start heading towards the front before I get out of here, but that is all I've got as I get submerged into the fog. Please nobody pop out and scare me as I'm doing this. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this look into Hallow Scream Sea World. If you are someone who is on the fence about trying this event, try it. Try it, try it, get here like an off-season day, like a cheap ticket, you know, try to do the front of the line, do get here early like I did. Honestly, that sort of stay and scream, the prepare for the scream really worked out for me where we were able to just run over to one of the haunted houses, jump right in. The other one was open as well. I'm sure we would have been able to knock that out really, really quick, but like that helped a lot. So this was really fun. I had a great time. I'm glad I got to hang out with all my friends, see some familiar faces, and just, I don't know, enjoy another Halloween event. I'm so happy there's another big time Halloween event in Orlando. And I'm excited to check out the Hallow Scream in Tampa when I get the chance to do that. But for now, this has been a pretty satisfying taste of Hallow Scream. So until then, thank you guys for watching. Have a good night. Oh, I gotcha. I gotcha. It's a Halloween video. I've got to scare you at the end. I think I'm going to start doing that from now on. Thank you guys for watching, and bye-bye. Uh, Have a good night. Happy Halloween, everybody. Happy Hallow Scream first ever. Ha-ha. <laughs> bye-bye.